But uh, next, we'd like to recognize the work of our friends in the legislature. Uh, first of all, all of them, whether no matter what letter they have behind their name, they do this out of a commitment to their state, to their country, and they're, they're trying to do the right thing. And I'd like to just acknowledge all of them for what they do on behalf of us and the sacrifices they, they take on their, their personal lives. So thank you to, for everyone serving. Our uh, Spirit of Enterprise Award was established in 1990 to recognize those legislators who have consistently shown efforts to protect the free enterpri enterprise system in Missouri, and we recognize six of those legislators tonight. First of all, I'd like to call on Senator Rob Mayer. 2010 was not a good time to be the man in charge of balancing the budget, but as chair of the Appropriations Committee, Senator Mayer successfully took on the job. In 2010, the Dexter legislator was, act was an active supporter of employment law reform, an effort to level the playing field for employers in court. Rob also proved himself as a leader in education policy in preparing the next generation of Missouri's workforce. Recently named the Senate President Pro Tem, Senator Mayer will be in a strong position to support the pro-jobs legislation that he's committed to and has said that that will be his priority. With a 100% Missouri Chamber rating, Rob is a true friend of Missouri employers. Please come forward to accept, accept this award, Senator Rob Mayer. Our next honoree tonight quickly emerged as a strong supporter of the business community in Missouri when he joined the Senate last year. In the 2010 session, his support for Missouri employers got stronger. Senator Kurt Schaefer from Columbia supported job-creating legislation and also played an important role in this year's debate in advocating for the establishment of data center uh, legislation that would have made Missouri that much more apt to attract that industry, and we're going to be back at it next year to get it done. Kurt's 100% career rating by the Missouri Chamber reflects a strong commitment to business, higher education, and environmental and regulatory issues in our state. Please welcome Senator Kurt Schaefer from Columbia. It's okay to stand if you're not from Columbia. <laughs> Next, the real deal. Representative John Deal of Town and Country has quickly shown himself to be an up-and-coming leader in the General Assembly. He recognizes the importance of targeted incentives to attract and retain jobs in Missouri. He has consistently been in our corner when we needed him on important economic development initiatives. He sits on the House Job Creation and Economic Development Committee and the highly influential House Rules Committee, which he chairs. John also holds a 100% rating for the Missouri, from the Missouri Chamber of Commerce. He has been also extremely supportive and ready to go on what we need to get the Midwest China Hub established in St. Louis. Please welcome Representative John Deal. Our next Spirit of Enterprise Award winner was an important business advocate for Missouri employers during the 2010 session. Key member of the House Budget and House Job Creation and Economic Development Committees, Representative Sam Como from Jefferson County is a proven supporter of job creation and retention in the state. Sam is from House Springs and he was a co-sponsor of House Bill 2 during the 2010 special session which could help save more than 4,000 automotive related jobs in Missouri and especially in the Kansas City area. He's been integral to establishing port legislation, which will be created in, in South St. Louis and Jefferson County, and is, was very eager to help on the China Hub Commission as well, China Hub effort. Representative Sam Como. Yeah. 
The next award winner has shown year after year that he is a champion of Missouri employers. With a 100% chamber rating, his support of pro-jobs legislation has never faltered during his tenure in the House of Representatives. Last year, he played a key role in passage of Senate Bill 928. We like to do the numbers thing, but we'll try to explain that. We, that's our code. To reverse costly Missouri Supreme Court rulings on employers that do business with tax-exempt organizations. So if you're doing business with a tax-exempt organization, you would have to pay sales tax on that. Ask Boeing about what that meant to them. He served his final term as representative in 2010, but will continue his legislative service as the next state senator from the 28th district. Please help me welcome Senator-elect Mike Parson. Chairman John Gers, is, uh, his arm's getting a little tired. Uh, we're looking at the bullpen, and uh, we're going to have to, you know, go for the lefty, okay. uh, and it has Rick Horton to come back up. Ricky? Is it Jerry Nolte? Is it Jerry Nolte? Hang on, Rick. Okay. Okay. Just warm up. I can do that. <laughs> we're warming up right now. Jerry, I turned the page too fast. Uh, as a small business owner himself, Representative Nolte is very deserving our, of our next Spirit of Enterprise Award winner, and he knows the challenges facing employers like everyone in the audience. He is a prominent voice for both small and large business. Most notably, in 2010, Jerry sponsored the House Bill 2, the Ford Bill that helped our automotive industry in this state. Jerry's from Gladstone, Missouri, on the other side of the state, but he knows that he was out in the eighth inning as well. Um, <laughs> He also serves as the chairman of the House International Trade and Immigration Committee, where he works to lessen the burden of immigration laws on businesses and open the doors for international trade throughout the state, which we know is critical for us to grow out of this recession. Uh, he's been extremely helpful on a Midwest China Hub Commission, and he holds a 100% Missouri Chamber rating. Please help me congratulate Representative Jerry Nolte. Jerry.